All right, this is why TTs are no longer the race of truth, and this is why I don't really like them very much. Um, I've actually never really done a proper TT, mainly because I'm put off by doing them, but I'm just going to go through this little list here and show you why the strongest person in a time trial very rarely wins. So no, you can just look at all these savings. So skin suit, most people can probably afford a nice skin suit, but like the Endura skin suit, which is the fastest, is like £300, which is outrageous. So like people gain advantage from that. The error bars, okay, everyone can buy error bars, but, and that does save a lot of uh, money, save a lot of time. So you can see here, the times are like 122 seconds, so almost two minutes just buy from the error bars. But this is like upright with no error bars to tuck in with error bars, so it's a bit ridiculous because no one's going to do a TT upright anyway. Again, error helmet, 67 seconds, $200 for an error helmet. Like That's quite a lot. Then you've got the wind tunnel, so a tuck with the error bars to a tune tuck saves you a minute. So you can literally, you could be a minute slower than someone just because they have a better position and they've gone to the wind tunnel. And wind tunnels cost $1,500. So you can see what I'm, I'm going on about this. It costs a lot. Front wheel, this is going from a three spoke to a five, like three five spoke, which is still pretty fast, to a deep, a deep rim 12 spoke, 42 seconds for a front wheel. I mean, they cost, like, a lot of money, $700. Shoe covers, okay, fair. Anyone can afford shoe covers, more or less. Like, they're not that expensive. I mean, not anyone, but, like, as in, if you're serious about time trying, you'll be able to get some shoe covers, probably. You can get some second hand or whatever. Rear wheel, again, $1,000. You save 30 seconds. Front wheel, from a 24-spoke to a 5-spoke, is 23 seconds. So if you had just a normal wheel going to the deep rim spoke, I mean, obviously, you can't compare, but it could be around a minute savings. And then an error frame, you save 17 seconds. So you see the error frame's not the best thing to do. But it's just like, it's sort of ridiculous because you think like, oh, if I just buy a real nice TT bike and then just, you know, have whatever, like, you know, a nice front wheel, nice rear wheel and just hop on it, then we'll be able to, like, win the TT. And it's like, well, nah, because you have to have all of this stuff. And okay, I admit one guy did win the National 10 Mile Time Trial, um with an, uh, only a bike which was worth a thousand pounds but had loads of aero coaching so we go over this bloke this is this is what caught my eye about it so he was basically saying time trialing is he's good at time trialing all the rest of it um he managed to get a couple of top 20s um but basically what he was doing he worked with these people to like adapt his position he then worked with someone else to adapt his position um, and he was changing his helmets. And like, this is such an effort. He then has a, an incredibly nice time trial bike. Um, so he has Vittoria Corsa Speed Tubulars, very fast tires. Um, then there's also, he's got like ceramics, oversized pulley wheels here. He's got like a tuned aero setup here. He's got deep, deep section vision wheels. Um, he's probably got like a 58 chain ring as well to try and save some watts there. Like, it's quite a tuned machine. And as the man says, he managed to go, okay, and then he says some other things, like you went more vegan and lost two kilos, which is always good. Um, but anyway, he did 285 watts and went 28 miles. No, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Here it is. 285 watts and went 29.6 miles an hour. And I'm like, on my road bike, there's no way I could do, like, close to 30 miles an hour. So that's almost 48 k's an hour for an hour at 285 watts. Like, I can hold 285 watts for an hour. Um, on a climb, on a time trial, maybe maybe I'd be able to do 275, 280, but I can definitely do that um, for 50 minutes, for sure. Um, but, I mean, in a time trial, like, it's just it just means that it's not really fair. Like, it's not really to do with the, the rider as much anymore. It used to be known as the, the, the race of truth. But it's not really because the strongest rider no longer wins. It's the strong, it's the rider who's managed to spend a lot of money on the TT testing, having the nice bars. And like even having really nice bars just costs so much. Like I'm thinking of getting a TT bike and I want to spend like maybe a thousand five hundred and have everything like disc wheel, etc. And like you can do that, but you have to buy Chinese disc wheels um, and tri spoke. You have to buy a real shit frame. Like, you know, I'm just probably gonna not spend very much on a frame. And then just the positioning, just hope for that. I can get my position right and pretty dialed and then hopefully be as error as possible. But it really is just a bit annoying these days. He managed to come second place at the state time trial championships, which is like pretty insane for 285 watts. Like I thought, 
I thought to win like a time trial like that on a, well, the state championships, I thought it would be like at least 3.30 for 50 minutes. Like that's what I thought it would be. But alas, the man has managed to get super aero, save all these watts. Um, but yeah, what do you think? Do you think the time trial is still a race of truth? Or do you think it's more just like who can spend the most money on aero testing and all the rest of it? Uh, nice wheels, nice ceramic um, bottom brackets, oversized pulley wheels, etc., etc. A nice like speed wax chain and all the rest of it. Uh, do you think it's that sort of thing? Or is it more like actually the person who just has the most power will still win? Um, for me, I think it's it's just getting a bit annoying because it, it really is like you've got to spend a lot of money to be seriously competitive in time trials these days, um, which is a bit sad. So anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you did enjoy this vid and I'll see you in the next one.